Hello everybody, how are you? I'm Dr. Shreful Halim and uh, today I will talk about in brief about what are the basic differences between uh, different spectrums of ischemic heart diseases. So suppose a patient comes to you complaining of a, a problem like uh, he has some chest pains or compression in the central chest after some period of activity like uh, getting up some stairs or doing some job or walking, walking a few, few uh, meter, few blocks, or walking hundred meters or something like that. And after this kind of activity, he has some symptoms like chest pain or, or, or chest tightness. And and what he does after that, he rests or he takes his uh, GTN spray. So in this type of situation, the most likely diagnosis that this patients this patient have is a stable and china. So there is uh, some blockage of the coronary circulation due to an atheromatous plaque but this block uh, is uh, not causing the problem when the patient is in rest but when he's, uh, he or she is active his, the body demands more oxygen so he needs to increase the cardiac output and to increase the cardiac output his or her muscles need to get more blood to pump that blood so that's why the oxygen demand in the myocardium also increases and that's why the myocardiums have a relative ischemia in case of in a patient in exercise so that's why the patient develops chest pain or chest tightness okay so uh, this is the stable angina and unstable angina is, is the same patient if he or she develops pain during rest which doesn't relieve by GTN spray uh, for uh, some time uh, and it takes for a longer time to uh, reduce the pain it, it might be called as unstable angina and in case of an unstable angina if you do an ECG sometimes you can have ST depression or in some cases T inversion but uh, but the angina level such as troponin I or troponin T levels will not be elevated B remember in unstable angina the cardiac enzymes like the troponins or CKMB are not elevated always remember that so whenever a patient presents with chest pain with palpitation or something like that and he has some ECG changes like ST depression and now you have some enzymes, cardiac enzymes like troponin I is elevated, CKMB is elevated but in ECG there is no ST elevation or there is no development of pathological QF. So in this kind of patients this is a this is, a, this is somewhere between uh, between ST elevated MI and between unstable angina so it is called non ST elevated MI so the defining criteria of MI that you must remember always always that the enzymes will be elevated so the mechanism behind this uh, whenever whenever there is myocardial infarction there there is the cells are deprived of oxygen and other nutrients and the cells are irreversibly injured or when cells are irreversibly injured one fallmark of cell injury is the membrane the cell membrane gets damaged so myocardial cell membrane gets damaged and the hot and jams inside the myocardial cell actually comes out of the circulation uh, out of the cell and into the circulation so that's why the CKMB and troponin I are actually the common understand normal enzymes that myocardium actually needs to do its activity. So it's not present in blood uh, that much. So when there is myocardial ischemia or infraction, those enzymes get out of the myocardial cell uh, into the circulation. So whenever there is myocardial infraction, you will have enzymes. And this myocardial infraction, as I've already mentioned, if there is no ST elevation but just only enzyme elevation, uh, there will, this is, it will be called as a non-ST elevated MI. But in the standard cases, you will have ST elevations. So there will be ST elevations or QA in case of transparent MI. Or in some cases, uh, you can have T inversion in the later stages of the MI development. So those are the basic differences between uh, stable angina, unstable angina, and MI. So if I recap, in stable angina, the pain is present after activity, relieved by rest or sublingual GTM. In stable, unstable angina, the pain may be present at rest, not relieved well by rest and not relieved by GTN for some duration but, but, but it is not associated with elevation of cardiac enzymes. And MI is defined as elevation of cardiac enzymes. And after elevation of cardiac enzymes, if the patient doesn't have any typical ECG features like acid depression, it will be called a non-ST elevated MI. But, and if, if the patient has typical features of 
uh, ST elevated amine like ST elevation and QOF formation. So it will be called a ST elevated amine. So those are the basic differences uh, that you should always keep in mind when you see the patient in CCU. So thanks for watching the videos and I will also make some other videos on common cardiac problems and other problems in different systems that you will encounter uh, not in your examinations but also in your clinical life. Thank you for watching the videos and don't forget to like my channel and subscribe it and ask any questions if you have uh, and I'll try to address those 